Welcome back. Only three countries in Latin America have large-scale nuclear power stations in operation. Mexico, Argentina, and Brazil. Brazil currently has two nuclear reactors and a third is under construction. Four more power plants are being proposed for construction in the 2020s. Nuclear energy generates 3% of the country's electricity. Joining us now to discuss Brazil's role as an emerging power in the field of nuclear energy is Dr. Takshan Kaseneva from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. You know, Brazil's most populous region suffered sporadic power outages last month. Um, is the need for energy pushing the government to go nuclear? Indeed, over the last decade, Brazil has experienced several very uh, severe energy crises when major Brazilian cities went dark. Right now, Brazil depends very heavily on hydro resources. Almost 80% of electricity comes from hydro resources. Therefore, there is a push to uh, expand the role of nuclear. You know, just uh, it's been three years now since the Fukushima power plant um, melted down because of that earthquake in Japan. And since then, several countries have started phasing out their nuclear production, including Germany, a major uh, Western power. Why is Brazil then opting to go nuclear? Well, uh, while Brazil is not saying no to nuclear energy. The expansion plans, at least the pacing of how many plants and how quickly will be built, that was definitely affected by the Fukushima tragedy. If before the Brazilian government was set on having up to eight new reactors, right now we know for sure that there is the third reactor under construction, but we do not know what will be happening after that. Well, it seems they are going in the opposite direction of, of most countries. Um, why has the development of nuclear energy become such a priority for Brazil? Is it to help keep the country growing and moving at a more rapid pace, or to keep up with it, rather? Well, Brazil's nuclear industry, it's not only nuclear energy for electricity purposes, which is a very important domestic dimension. Brazil has also developed advanced nuclear technologies for producing nuclear fuel. For example, Brazil has several stages of nuclear fuel cycle available in the country. Brazil is also working on developing a nuclear propelled submarine. And here I should make it very clear, it's not about nuclear weapons, it's just about using nuclear naval fuel to uh, power the submarines. You have all these different components and they're important both for domestic reasons, for electricity needs, but also because Brazil does see nuclear technology as a token of modernity um, and technological prominence. Well, you mentioned the domestic side and you touched on international, but is gaining international influence the driving factor in Brazil's move to push nuclear development forward? Yes, I think there is a very strong international factor. Brazil does see nuclear technology as a component of a very important country internationally. Its role in the global nuclear order is growing, so absolutely yes. Uh, President Dilma Rousseff is up for re-election later this year. Um, where does she stand on nuclear development, nuclear energy? That's a very interesting question. What I have heard from my colleagues in Brazil is that her thinking on nuclear energy has been shifting throughout the years. If before she was considered to be quite anti-nuclear energy, it seems as though she started to accept the idea that Brazil does need nuclear energy for electricity purposes. While her attitude towards nuclear energy for electricity purposes is somewhat mixed, on the nuclear propelled submarine front, she is in full support. She sees it as a very important project for Brazil. Looking forward down the road five, ten years from now, um, how do you see Brazil incorporating nuclear energy, nuclear development? Will they be successful? Will they be uh, able to use this in a way that benefits them and perhaps other countries around the world? I think yes, if they do it thoughtfully, carefully, uh, with enough planning. I think they, they have a potential to be very successful. But I do think that the conversation within Brazil, the debate within Brazil about nuclear is still ongoing. So we'll have to see what Brazilians themselves decide about where their country should go. Are they moving too fast in this way? 
Well, right now, because we see that the Fukushima did slow down some of the plans with pacing, with construction of new nuclear power plants, I do think they, they are serious and they uh, do assess the challenges and risks very carefully. All right, Dr. Takshan Kasanova, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time and your insight here on America's Thank now. you for having me here.